Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my new front room. Full house tour reveal is coming very soon. There's been a delay with it. We've got Connie down there as well, looking very interested. Once again, this video, this UK exclusive of the Project Thunderball with Wiesman is brought to you with Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. As always, make sure you're hitting that link below if you ever thought of building a website because you'll save some cash when you do. So hit the link, click the bookmark, and make sure you save the code TGTV because you'll save some cash building your website, as I've said. You all know that by now, but it's good to reiterate these things. So Squarespace is a perfect place to build a website because they have so many tools that make building a website super simple, super efficient, and super effective. You've got SEO tools, you've got mobile optimized websites, you've got easy subscription models to build into your website, like Crep Chief Notify. You can build beautiful email campaigns, and you can even start with a range of amazing templates off the bat. So make sure you hit that link right there below. Save some cash, get building, Keep in touch with what you're building and let's get over to Dunsfold, the top gear track where Wiesman Project Thunderball is waiting. Let's go for a drive. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dunsfold Aerodrome today, and I've got the Wiesman Project Thunderball here for its first drive. This is its UK debut, and I think the first time anyone has driven this. There's been a few people today, but we're gonna get in, we're gonna go for a little drive, and we're gonna take it round uh, this expansive track, which some of you will know as the top gear track so plenty of space plenty of runoff hopefully because this thing has got just under 700 brake horsepower at its disposal some of you will remember me at salon privé in the past few days strolling around near this car taking some fancy pants photos however today is when we get to take it to well, I was gonna say the limit, but I don't think they'd appreciate that. This is a prototype car. So there are lots of details on this car that will not make it into the final production vehicle. So uh, don't be too uh, scrutinous. I'm not sure that's a word, but don't scrutinize it far too much because this, as I say, is basically a working prototype. Obviously we've got the roof on at the moment. This is going to be a motorized roof because manual soft tops do not work in today's market, uh, but we're gonna keep it on because as you may have realized, it's actually pretty soggy out here. So it's rear wheel drive. It's just under 700 brake horsepower and it's powered by electric motors. Two electric motors powering the back wheels, one to each of them. So it should mean that it's relatively difficult to spin in a circle, but we will test that in a second. We've got all sorts of different driving modes as well. So I'm gonna hop in then and get on with things and go for a little hoonaroo. Cram myself in here. So driving position is very, very nice. And Wiesman has stayed true to their DNA with having these seven gauges up here as well. Those familiar with their heritage cars and the previous generations will recognize uh, these dials here. We've got a big screen, let's fire her up. I'm pressing this button. She's powered on then. Here we go. We've got various driving modes here on the steering wheel, as you'll see. Um, we will get into that. I just want to show you the roof, actually, very quickly. So you've got this button up here. Look how quick this is. See ya, mate. Easy peasy. I don't fancy getting drenched, so we will probably keep it on for the filming. But we just go straight back on again. Look at that. Super, super simple. Lovely stuff. Wonderful. Right, so as I said then, we've got drive modes here. Let's get that. We've got normal and then we've got sport. We'll put it in sport for the time being, but we've also got on here eco and using the paddles that you can see here, you can actually adjust the regen as well on here. Um, we're going to go for a fairly spirited drive, so we're going to leave it in red and in sport. But you've got all sorts of things on there, so your, your range, percentage-wise, kilometre-wise, power, charge, all the fun stuff, your temperatures, everything you need is on there. You've also got down here your controls, so park, neutral, drive, all of that fun stuff. And this, believe it or not, is the key. As I say, this is a prototype car, so some of the finishing details um, are not actually on this. But look how cool that key is. Riesman on this side. You pick that up. 
very very cool and that actually slots into the dash there and underneath here on the final production version there will be some uh, different features underneath there and also this is a prototype screen as well so what you're seeing there is basically just kind of a, a test version if that focuses it'll be 4k like the display we have there so as i say some of these details are pre-production and actually the seats are very very nice in here they kind of remind me a little bit of somewhere between the Porsche folding buckets and their fixed buckets. These are actually adjustable and you've got carbon fiber the whole way around this car as well. And they've carried over this feature from their sort of heritage feet as well. Very nice kind of uh, strappy type um, features on here as well with the leather with stitching everywhere. Very, very cool. And those watch nerds out there, this is almost kind of like the inner inner bezel on a Rolex with that kind of uh, motif going around there as well, all laser etched. Very, very nice. Right, seatbelt on then. Hopefully we don't steam up too much because that tends to interfere with GoPros. It's quite eerie. As time goes on, I'm getting used to the idea of fully electric sports cars and I know there are so many people out there that are saying oh you shouldn't make a fully electric one but actually there is a place for these so we're at Dunsfold <laughs> we're gonna get a bit wild in a minute they've left it in full power mode for me so range then is oh my god Okay, 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 okay. I need to be sensible. So I did some prelim laps with Arnie, uh, one of the developers here, um, developed the car and he had li limited it to 400 brake. Uh, and I was being quite sensible with him, luring him into a false sense of security, thinking that I was gonna be sensible. And he even got out of the car and said, you know, Tom, Tom's a very experienced, um, sensible driver. We can up the power and put it into full power mode for him. Got you, Arnie! <laughs> God. Okay, yeah, that is quick, 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 quick. Um, we've got it in a mode then that doesn't have any regen power on, so there's no engine assistance with the braking. I'm just relying on the brakes to slow me down. But that noise, whilst it's not a V10, it is very satisfying. It's got a very, very, very direct steering rack on it, and it does feel very planted at the back. We have got a lot of standing orders you can probably hear. <laughs> just gotta keep it steady through it. We've not got super wet tires on. This car is not built for, oh my goodness me, lots of standing water there. Not built for aquatic activities. And I'm actually the only idiot today to take this out in the wet. They were trying to get everyone here in the dry for lots of very nice scenic sunny pictures. Um, but me being me, I was busy in the morning and I've just turned up in the afternoon. Everyone else is gone. <laughs> It's amazing though, it's got that long bonnet, but there's, an, there's a hint of SLS, there's a hint of F12 about it. Can we unstick it? Actually, no, you can't. Very grippy, very, very clever technology in there. Um, ridiculous. So range then is up to 500 kilometers, and if you're doing track work like this, you're looking at about 300. I'm gonna come in now, and that's a little sneak preview, a little taster of what it's like to drive a Wiesman Project Thunderball on track being left to my own devices. I'm being told to get off the track, so we're gonna end it there. But that is a little taster. So stay tuned for all the settings, the final production car out on track with all the power cranked up and all the final production features very, very soon coming to the channel. A massive thank you to Wiesman for allowing me to drive their, the only car they've got at the moment, their kind of uh, pre-production prototype car for trusting me with it. Massive thank you to Arnie and the team. Um, and stay tuned for more. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.